Suppose that you are choosing a life partner for yourself and there are five equally good candidates in front of you. Who will you choose? And how will you choose? That's the most important question. Will you look at certain qualities or will you look at something else? I told you, all of them are really good. And I hope that you look at something else and that something else, I hope, is compatibility. So there you would get the perfect guy or girl for yourself. And who told you that choosing a B-school was any different? Welcome to Bunny Abroad. If you are new to this channel, then I make content on studying and settling abroad that will give you an edge. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel right away. Also, if you have this dream of studying abroad, then I can help you with the application process. I run my consulting service called Giado. So if you're interested in getting to your dream school, then contact me through my website. The link is in the bio. In this video, I will not give you the ranking. I will not give you five, four, three, two, one, because I don't think that would be useful in you making a decision because all of the B schools that I would be talking about in this video are going to be the top ones. And what's more important important should not be the ranking but your fit with the B school. So instead of ranking I'll tell you that if you want to specialize in this particular subject then you should go to this B school. So make sure that you stick till the very end because of course this information is going to be really important. So here is what the structure of this video is going to look like. First I'll talk about the top B schools irrespective of the ranking and second I'll tell you which one would be a good fit for you and third I'll tell you that if you can't make into those top B schools what are the other good B schools that you can target and just to tell you the information that I'm going to give you in this video has been concluded after talking to people in the industry in the Canadian industry who have themselves graduated from top-notch B schools of Canada and are now working at great companies so you can trust the authenticity. Let's get started. So starting with the list of the top B schools and again, this is not any order. It's random. So the list is right there. It's Rodman School of Management, Schulich School of Business, Ivy Business School, Smith School of Business, HEC Montreal, Desortals Faculty of Management, and Soda School of Business. And now let's analyze your fit with the B School. So first, let's talk about Rotman. So Rotman is the B School of University of Toronto, and it's located right in the heart of Toronto, downtown Toronto. And the specialization that it's really famous for is finance so if you are interested in finance then rotman should be the b school for you and for your information toronto is the second largest financial center in north america next to new york and the dean of rotman is also the governor of bank of canada so you can see the correlation right there another advantage of rotman can be that it's known all over the world as opposed to other top b schools because most of the people know about the u.s top b schools but not about Canada but still Rotman has a wide familiarity across the world so if you're planning to work someplace else then your employer would know the name and that's great before I go on to the next B school I want to help you understand how this will play out when you are looking for a job suppose that you are interested in finance then since Rotman is known for finance, then there would be a lot of alumni who are already working in the finance sector. And because Canada, it's not like on campus placements, you have to network with people. So if you have alumni of your own B school in those companies in that industry where you want to be, then it gets easier for you because they have already established that path. They're already working in those companies. So you can easily network with them, go out on coffee chats, tap into their wisdom and eventually get a job. Now coming to the next B school of which I am the alumni. So 
I graduated from Shulik School of Business having pursued my Master of Management. So Shulik is known for marketing. If you want to pave a career in marketing, then Shulik is the place for you. The Shulik School of Business is located in Toronto, not downtown Toronto, but there are a few classes which also happen in downtown Toronto. And when I say that a particular B school is famous for marketing, then I don't in any way mean that if you go to that B school, you won't get into any other domain. That's not true. I'm just telling you that if that's your goal, then that B school would be the best fit for you because it already has established its name in that particular domain. And apart from marketing, a lot of Shulik alumni are also in the IT or tech consulting sector. So if you want to go into marketing or tech consulting, then Shulik is the B school for you. And one additional insight about Shulik's MBA program that I have for you is that it offers 18 areas of specialization so you can pick and choose which one that you want to go for not many B schools offer this wide variety of specializations so that's also one factor that you should take into consideration whether the specialization that you want to pursue does the B school even offer that and then choose a B school accordingly so now let's talk about Ivy Business School Ivy is the B school of University of Western Ontario and is located in London not that London but the London of Canada and Ivy is known for its consulting the strategy and operations consulting there are different types of consulting tech consulting operations strategy so for Ivy a lot of alumni are in operations or strategy consulting also Ivy has the case teaching method which is also the method used at Howard Business School so if you want to be a consultant at the top three companies BCG Bain McKinsey then Ivy is the school for you. Now coming to the next B school which is the Smith School of Business. The Smith is the B school of Queen's University and is located in Kingston in Ontario. So all the B schools that I've talked till now all of these are in Ontario. And like Ivy, Smith School of Business is also famous for consulting strategy and operations consulting. And now let's quickly recap. So if you want to go for finance then Rotman is the B school for you. If you want to go into marketing, then it's Shulik. And if you want to go into consulting, the core consulting, which is strategy or operations and dream of working at the top three companies, BCG, Bain and McKinsey, then you should choose one of these three, Ivy, Rotman or Smith School of Business. Now I'll cover those B schools which are not in Ontario, but they also hold a prestigious name in the Canadian market. So those are going to be HEC Montreal, the Zortel's Faculty of Management at McGill and then Sauder School of Business at University of British Columbia. So talking about McGill and HEC Montreal, so these both are in Montreal and McGill has a really good co-op option. So if you are interested in that, then McGill should be your B school. One drawback is that although these are really good B schools, but then a lot of people after their graduation graduation move to the GTA region and do not stay in Montreal and also since getting a job here is all about networking especially after MBA then networking gets a lot difficult if you are targeting something in the GTA region where most of the job opportunities are of course you'll hear for the PR sake that okay many people just move to GTA but they are not even aware of job opportunities maybe in Montreal or Alberta but here I'm talking about the industry the sector suppose if you want to work in the financial sector then of course Toronto is the place for you and if you are studying at one of those B schools which are not in Ontario let alone Toronto then it would make networking a lot difficult and this is the case for many people many people who studied there now they moved to the GTA region because they wanted their job there and they saw that the job opportunities that they wanted are in the GTA region so because Canada is all about networking to get that job especially post MBA then it gets a lot difficult if you are sitting at the other end or miles away from Toronto and you will have to bear the expenses from your own pocket for networking and it's not that you can regularly network 
with people because you have to board that flight or you have to go by your car and then stay there pay those expenses as well so it's not that easy so if you are crystal clear that okay toronto is the place that is going to be where you work then choose the b schools which are there if you do not get an admit from one of those b schools then it's okay those are also good ones and you can later move on and come to gta region gta just for your information is the greater toronto area it's the region in and around toronto and it's a hub for many startups many big corporate giants so if you are interested in those kind of jobs then toronto is the place for you no matter what people tell you and now coming to Sauder School of Business which is University of British Columbia's B school if you want to live and settle in Vancouver then that would be a good B school but if you have to eventually move to Toronto then I would say that prefer the ones in and around Toronto because UBC has more of its reputation limited to the Vancouver region the west coast so make your decision accordingly if you know that you want to live in Vancouver you have to enjoy that kind of a weather it's not that cold in Vancouver if that is what you are looking at then UBC would be a good choice for you also Vancouver has a smaller market than Toronto so make that decision wisely if you have some relatives or some family there and if you want to live close to them then of course choose Vancouver but if you have to eventually move to Toronto then it makes sense that you study in Toronto so that the networking and the industry everything is clear to you okay so we are done with the elite list and I hope now you have a lot of clarity on where you should be going and also I promise you that I'll disclose that if you can't get into these top B schools then which B school can you target so there's this b school d growth school of business which is the b school of mcmaster so you can target that and still get good job opportunities post your mba and i will be also telling you one other university which does not have a b school per se and it's not any average it's a top-notch university so don't just go with the trend that i am telling you universities if you don't get into that then this would be your target so if you want a mix of business and technology then University of Waterloo might be for you. It does not offer the traditional MBA program, but you can look at other courses. Apart from MBA, of course, there are specialized programs and that also applies to B-Schools. And it's not just the MBA that you can do at B-Schools these days. There are a lot of specialized programs such as Master of Management, Master in Finance, Master in Supply Chain Management. So these are also the options that are available to you. So if you can't do MBA because you don't have that work experience or if you don't want to do that and if you're super clear okay that you just want to study finance and you just want to make a career in that and then pursue CFA then that program might be the right choice for you so just to be aware you should know that there are specialized programs nowadays that a lot of B schools offer and you can take one of those. So this was the extensive list along with the specializations. I hope that you really got value out of this video. But I know that there would be a lot of other questions because this is a big decision. You are investing a lot of money and you are going to study in a foreign country and in your home country probably because you keep hearing those names, you know that okay, this is the suitable B school for you but to answer those pending questions there's one suggestion for you get on linkedin talk to alumni who have already graduated from the b school that you are aiming for and tap into their experiences and their wisdom and that would really help in answering a lot of pending questions going on in your mind and also give you additional information which you might not have even known so linkedin is the way to go and don't don't ever forget to add that personalized invite that will make a lot of difference friends so please don't ignore that send a personalized note and also I know there are a few other questions which might be going on in your mind regarding B schools which can be does location matter I hope that you got the answer from this conversation and also what's the average salary post MBA and does applying to the earlier rounds give you an edge in terms of getting an admit or getting a scholarship so don't worry I'll make a separate video on that I didn't want this video to stretch too long so a new video will be coming out soon on those topics and if you found this video to be valuable then I'm pretty sure that this and this video is also going to be really valuable for you before leaving if you like this video then make sure that you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon until my next video take care and stay happy bye